We are now in the Nissan Leaf 40 kilowatt hour, the brand spanking new one. And now I'm gonna do a range test. So um, uh, usually I know when I do the range test, I will charge you 100% and discharge close to zero. Now because we are at this Leaf event, uh, we have limited time. Uh, actually I have dinner in about two hours, but I can be a little bit late, yeah. It's classic to be late at dinner, right? <laughs> but um, I have 77% state of charge and I'll try to discharge it down to roughly 10% because you know I have to be careful here because we are at Tenerife uh, this island ha has almost no public chargers and there's like one Chatamo charger on the east side of this like this island and um, so I have to be careful don't run out of juice and just kind of like drive back and forth on the motorway uh, I will do a, an eco run where I will probably cruise at around well it will say uh, 90 kilometers per hour on the speedometer but it's around 85 kilometers per hour I will still have like you know a heater or whatever you know uh, air conditioning on uh, but you know try to run this as equal as possible I mean equal as possible but the temperature here is uh, plus 17 degrees Celsius uh, it is dry outside but very windy so um yeah let's do this I want to know how much range you can get like best case yeah best case real world yeah uh, motorway run uh, I can do that later maybe in Norway or something but now I want to try the, the eco run to see how it can go but I cannot do another hundred percent discharge I have to discharge whatever I dare to do and then uh, estimate the rest based on that so yes let's go then okay 77 percent eco mode is on uh, let me reset uh, the trip meter. Alright, let's roll! Well, wow, this place is actually pretty cool. It's called... It's called Eater. In... Uh, yeah, this is the... It's this like cool facility where they, uh, you know, try to showcase um, renewable energy and how, you know, we can live our life. Oh yeah, we are cruising now on the motorway. And I have um, ProPilot activated. So let me show you here, that is the blue icon, adaptive cruise control is on, yes, uh, consumption is kind of high because uh, we are fighting the headwind right now, but we will drive back and forth so there will be, you know, yeah, we'll even out for that and we will end up on the same spot we started. So it's going to take a while because we will try to drive it close to zero, yeah. Oh, you know, we have really strong wind here, yeah, the wind always strong here we've been here two days and um, but you know what the wind is uh, coming slightly from the side it's not like straight against us and I just heard on the presentation uh, right before I got in the car here that you know the, the shape of the car the new leaf has been uh, designed so that um, it like the side wind will actually benefit the car. You gain 2.5 kilometers of extra range. So it's like, it's almost like, you know, the car is sailing on side wind. So, um, you know, up to, I mean, <laughs> if you want to cheat, I have to try to get um, wind on the side. <laughs> that is like the weirdest shit ever. Oh yeah, but let me see, how are we looking now so far? Uh, we have done 30 kilometers. And um, average is 17.5 uh, or 175 watt per kilometer, and we have gained and we have consumed 16 percent. So um, I estimated that we, we have to drive about 150 kilometers. So this is gonna take a while. <laughs> we have turned back, and now we are heading back south again. Uh, take a little route over there, but I think we still have to go a little bit back and forth. But I didn't want to go too far north because then we're getting close to a city with more traffic. So um, the consumption should go down now because uh, now we have tailwind. So we'll see. Yeah, 171. Wow, there's some elevation. Oh, well that is the, <laughs> the lane departure warning uh, warning me. But that's weird. Uh, seems like the pro pilot cannot take too big turn, too sharp. Uh, turns on the motorway. I have to test it more. It could be me you know, not using the system correctly. So here you see the map. Uh, we are on the northern side. Uh, the end point is over there. Uh, but that is 27. Oh, I didn't give enough pressure on the steering wheel. Well, I'm gonna demonstrate by the way what happens if you don't touch the steering wheel. Okay, so um, 
it's kind of slow. We have a slow driver in front of us, very slow actually. See, get a warning, and then some beeps. Oh, okay, a little, a little bump there. All right, let's uh, let's not try it here. I'm gonna try it later. It's getting dark now, and we have been driving for uh, over 50 minutes, 53 minutes, and um, oh, ow. yeah, pro pilot stuff. Um, consumption is very low now, 149, and uh, you know we haven't gone back to the starting point yet because we are still riding on uh, you know on the wind back again. So um, this is looking pretty good. It seems like. Um, the, the average speed on this eco run, I mean the average consumption on this eco run would be kind of low and you know before you guys complain this is again an eco run so it would simulate uh, like highway driving uh, kind of slow-ish, it's a mix of city and highway so the, the of course the motorway uh, run will be done later uh, yeah I need, mo need more time and I need to test it in Norway but uh, this is um, looking pretty good yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, well, I don't know where the heck we are, but uh, <laughs> we're still on the motorway. And um, <clears throat> I just uh, skipped the, the last exit down, and um, I need to know. Let me see, where's the next one? Um, yeah, I'm trying to get back soon, but it says 23 kilometers to go back uh, because we don't we don't want to go too far away. And um, here we have. 32% left and uh, done 103 kilometers. So I'm aiming on driving about 140 to 150 kilometers. Um, uh oh, I hope I didn't do a mistake here because um, a quick math, a uh, quick estimation is that 1% uh, I have is two kilometers of range, uh, but we have to fight the headwind on the way back. So that means we should have. You know, 50, uh, 50 kilometers of range left, and uh, we are 40 kilometers uh, away from uh, our starting point. So that's cutting a little bit close. Yeah. So um, uh, just as a precaution, I switch off uh, heater for now. Um, so uh, I have to take it easy, and uh, because if I run out, then I'm in deep shit. There is no fast charger around here. I can't just go to a fourth of charger and just top up. No. No habla. We are on the way back again. So if you look on the map here, um, yeah, 34 kilometers away, and um, we have 21 so, percent. Oh yeah, that that should be fine, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I still, uh, otherwise, I just have to hyper mile on the way back. Ooh, well, great news. Um, you know, I had 21% when I turned around, and now we have 19%, but we have, well, we have traveled a lot. Well, we travel a lot, so uh, it seems like the turning point was at some high elevation, and then from there, we uh, kind of coasted down uh, with region and stuff. Well, I didn't coast, I'm just letting the car drive for me on Pro Pilot. Yeah, it's very relaxing. Uh, this car is just, by the way, this car is so quiet, like the soundproofing. I saw also a presentation uh, uh, Nissan had. They actually put all the effort into soundproofing this car, so it is dead silent. I would say, you know, well, I haven't done a direct comparison, but I would complain that this is more silent than the E-Golf, which I consider was the most silent EV. Yeah, and of course, more silent than uh, Tesla, what, Lex, uh, S. Mm. Not sure, but it is just very silent. You have to experience it yourself. Um, but uh, well, there is a slight problem, maybe. Um, time now is eight, and uh, what well, a party! There's a the, the, there's a dinner that started around eight. So uh, I'm not there yet. I'm at least 10, 15 minutes away, and I have to change my clothes and everything. Um, so. Um, yeah, but you know what? I'm not. I didn't come to Tenerife to go to a fancy dinner. I came here to test cars. Yeah, so I just have to finish my mission and then I can go to dinner. It's slightly late. This is it. We are almost there. Just 
one kilometer left and uh, the Nissan Leaf is equipped with automatic high beam yeah you just switch that off <laughs> and on on and off for me so uh, LED headlights Ooh, finally and the old one had one halogen lights uh, not xenon lights so uh, almost there and let me see, well, I should do a test with the headlights also. Mm, but okay, let's do a quick test now. Mm, uh, uh, okay, well, it's it's being tricked by some kind of light over there. Come on. Okay, yeah. All right, but uh, let's park and uh, crunch some numbers. Finally, we are back at the starting point, so... Uh, we have consumed 63% and we can do an estimation on the range based on that and the consumption was actually 137 watt hour per kilometer that is very low considering that you know we had some terrain and stuff here but um, these guys they need the car back so I have to be quick <laughs> but based on this I estimate that uh, I could have done 245 kilometers of range real this is real world range of course summer range but that is very close to the VLTP range that has been tested. That's a new standard. So that's 270. So this is 245. Very close. Good stuff. Yeah. So, um, yes. All right. I'm going to pack now, pack my stuff and uh, go back I and mean, go to the party. <laughs> so uh, that's it for now then. Bye bye.